Ford Auditorium is a Detroit landmark, once embraced, now neglected. Peeling paint is covered with plywood and graffiti. The building seems to know its days are numbered. Ford Auditorium opened in 1955 as the home of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. Set on a prime piece of riverfront property, the auditorium was built with money raised by the Ford family and local Ford and Mercury dealers. Today it sits vacant after many attempts to save it. I hate for it to sit empty. Um, if someone had a use for it, that'd be great. But it seems no one does. Detroit 2020 cameras were allowed into Ford Auditorium recently. Hints of its grandeur remain to this day. You can almost hear the sounds of the symphony, but years of abandonment and a brief stint as a warming shelter have left it cold, dark, and littered. It's a very different place than the auditorium Kay Gist remembers. Many, many years ago, I graduated Nine Park High in 1977, and Diana Ross had a concert at Ford Auditorium. Martin Luther King also spoke at Ford Auditorium, and it was the site of Malcolm X's last major speech before his murder. But the acoustics in the auditorium were never well designed for classical music performances, so in 1989, the symphony moved back to a remodeled orchestra hall, and the once grand auditorium began its slow decline. The floor of the stage is buckled in places. Pieces of the curtain lay shredded on the floor, but the rigging remains intact. The lights look like they could shine at any moment. And a specially built organ may still have some rich notes to share. Over the past two decades, there's been talk of using the building for an aquarium, or a bank headquarters. For one year, it was used as a city warming center. There are indications it is still serving that purpose in an unofficial way. Something needs to be done with a lot of buildings down here. I mean, it's, you know, being empty ain't doing no good, ain't bringing no revenue to the city. The talk is the land will be used to build a 5,000 seat amphitheater. But for now, the Ford Auditorium continues to sit and await its fate.